Didn't have my mic on. Didn't have my mic on. Always the best way to start streaming, isn't it? It is Sunday. I'm Rory Paddock for, as you can see, not that corner, but that one, for picks from the paddock.co.uk. And it is Sunday selections. It's just gone 10 o'clock. And I'm going to be focusing solely on the racing over in Ireland at Navan. It's a flat meeting. Uh, there's eight races on the card. I'm going to try and come up with a decent place pot and also put in a couple of horses there. That I think will go well just for single bets, and I will work my way through the card as best as I can. So, with that in mind, let's bring up today's race cards over in Ireland. And the first race is in the 115, just over three hours away. And it's a Phillies maiden over the minimum five furlong trip. And I think. I'll be honest with you, we're not looking for a bet in terms of a single bet here. We are looking for just a bet to kick off our place pot in our first leg. And with a place pot, you've got to... There's two things you need to kind of weigh up, and it's, this is the sort of fine balance that you need to sort of maintain. You need to hope, because we obviously want a decent collect from a place pot. We want to hope that perhaps a well-fancied horse falters and you have the right horse as an alternative but equally you don't want to stray too far sort of left field and you just end up picking a horse for the sake of it sometimes you need to go with a favorite because it's got a favorite's chance and it's the most likely to finish in the money now this first race obviously we've got Bally Doyle's Aidan O'Brien trained prettiest making its debut Current favourite at 11 to 8. Obviously, beautifully bred. Isn't going to have to be much to win a race like this. But, you know, I know it's not too left field, but I'll go with the second favourite. Lopez Gold, I think with Maidens, um, having that run, even if it's not the best of first runs, having that bit of race course experience is a massive positive. So Lopez Gold, for Jessica Harrington, yes, it's not far off favourite. It's 13 to 8, it's second favourite. But did really well to finish second. Um, Agartha is another horse I couldn't really put you off. I know it's it's basically going one, two, three in the batting, but I think it should probably be around that. But we'll go Lopez Gold to start off our play spot. Number five on the card in the 115. We then have another maiden. Again, over the minimum trip, it's five furlong, and this time it is not Bally Doyle that saddle the favour. I actually think this is quite a tough race to decipher. Um, you have the current market leader, Albion Square, who improved massively to finish second on its second outing. You've then got the likes of Aidan O'Brien and Dermot Weld, who send out newcomers. And it's it's pretty close between those three in the betting. And you've also got Donna Carol Bryant's horse, uh, Sheen Can Sen, who's pretty decent. And I also wouldn't readily uh, discredit Arjaz either. You know, it's, it's rank outsider, but a horse can really, really improve. What makes this even more difficult is there's only seven horses. So the play spot is only going to play the first two. And it's, it's, it's a tough one. I, again, it's boring, but the first three in the betting, Albion Square, Admiral of the Blue, and Lecarf are probably the three most likely to finish in the money. But we know that one of them isn't going to count. With only the two places, it makes it a tough, tough decision. And I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that Admiral of the Blue has enough in the locker on debut to put pay to the remaining six. We're going Aidan O'Brien. We're going Bally Doyle. We're going number one in the second in the 145 to hopefully get its head in front on its first race course start. So it's Admiral of the Blue in the second leg of the play spot at Navin. Again, 
nothing ridiculously, uh, you know, out there. However, third leg, and we've got 21 runners, folks. 21. We've also got three reserves. And actually, this is where the first of my single bets are going to come in. The first of my single bets is going to be on two horses. I think with 21 runners, I think it's safe to say that we can have a couple in this leg. And the first one is going to be number 10, currently priced at 18 to 1, former course and distance winner with Shane Foley on board, Stan Hope. It's been absolutely woeful over, uh, well, as you can see there with the form, the form figures, zeros, and we've got an eight in there, we've got a nine in there. So the form of this course, of course my cat wants to get involved, but never mind. Uh, sorry, the form recently is absolutely atrocious. But, but, at Navan, its form here isn't too bad. It's one of a mark of 80 here, over course and distance. That was on relatively soft ground. And it's now off a mark of 62 with Shane Foley booked for the ride. Stall one, shouldn't be too disadvantageous. And I think at 18 to one, if you're looking for just a small each way single bet, stand up. However, the one I'm more convinced with is another course and distance winner that's been backed into near enough favourite, and it is Teddy Boy. Course and distance winner again, Chris Hayes, Eddie Lynham, the trainer, Obviously represents decent sort of yard. Um, but the one thing that really sold this horse to me when I was looking through it last night is a horse's course record is really, really decent. Uh, third of 21, third of 22, sixth of 16, first of 17 off a mark of 51, first of 14 off a mark of 59, sixth of 17, fourth of 17 it always is there all right it's done always finishing the money but it's always there or thereabouts and again if it is of a mark of 59 when it's last one here off a mark of 57 joggy chris hayes i'll be very very honest i was that that close to giving it as my nap in the racing post today but i think because i like stand hope in the race as well i knew that sod's law would prevail and it'd be the opposite one would end up doing much better and making me look like a numpty. Don't know why my cat's decided to pipe up now. He's been quiet for about three hours. What's up with you? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm trying to give, I'm trying to give the viewers a few winners. Yeah, I know. I'm atrocious. Yeah, if you saw my last video, I ended up giving a double, both of which finished second. However, for there, we're going to go number ten. And um, we're going to go number 16 in the third leg, the 220 at Navin. We've then got another maiden race. Now, why I've picked today with a card like this, I don't know. Malawi should win, hands down, 8 to 13, red up favourite. And this is the thing that's made me sort of um and ah this race. If you want in more of a certainty, I would be shocked if that horse didn't finish in the first three. Or. Do we go for a horse at a bigger price that potentially could swing a shock if Malawi didn't do what it's meant to do? And that's the sort of quandary, that's the conundrum I'm looking at when I'm looking at the 255. Point, point Nepian would be the alternative. But I'm going to go boring. I'm going to go for the favourite. Malawi, 255. Yeah, let's just get that out of the way. That that race, if we're still in it at race four, then we need that boxed off and sorted. And you imagine as well, with a 21 runner handicap, there's going to be a load of, load of uh, play spot tickets that are out at that point. So get rid, get gone. We then had two... The 330 and one mile. All the big pretenders are in there, all the big names Joseph O'Brien, John Joseph Murphy, John Graham Lyons, Jessica Harrington, uh, Andrew Slattery, 
and it looks a really, really, really open contest. You can ignore Ted Walsh, his horse indulging, shouldn't, shouldn't uh, have any sort of uh, say in this race. And I can't decide between, you've got a charter house that's competed at the top level in group one company, but didn't really do anything. And then you've got sort of the less sort of experienced pretenders, shall we say, in the likes of Belmont Avenue. And they also like uh, Shane Foley's Mount, uh, Lay Laps. I think we're going to go. It's so far, I'll be honest. I fit another tough race here. We're going to go, we're going to go Belmont Avenue and we're going to hope that Joseph O'Brien's horse has come along and it's improved nicely since the all weather win. You can apply that form, that sort of race onto turf. Then it should hopefully finish in the first two. So that's number two in the 3.30. So just to run through them quickly, we've got in the first race, number five, Lopez Gold. In the second, we've got number one, Admiral of the Blue. In the third race, we've got numbers 10, Stanhope, and number 16, Teddy Boy. 255, we're going to be boring. We're going to go with the favourite, Malawi. In the 330, we've got Belmont Avenue. That'll be race number five. And then last, but by no mean least, we've got race six, 405. And again, another race where all the big time yards are represented. It's a handicap, it's over one mile two. Baton Rouge should probably be the winner, but this is the race where I'm going to hopefully plump for something at a slightly bigger price. It's not going to be two out there that could potentially finish in the money. And I can't decide whether or not it's going to be Aidan O'Brien's second string or whether or not his son is going to. Uh, <laughs> put pay to his chances with Snowy Owl. And it's a tough one. It really is a tough one. Um, Snowy Owl did well, finished second last time out. But Paddy Hartnett took £7 off. It's gone up a couple of pounds and it's been dropped by two furlongs. So with that in mind, I want to go Iowa. Wayne Lorden, Aidan O'Brien, second string to potentially scoop a top three finish. Iowa number six in the 405. Yeah. Now, that's my place pot done, dusted, and sorted. Mm. We're going to ignore another maiden race, that auction race there. And we're going to go to the 515, where my nap of the day, and it should finish in the money, is the Colin Keane ridden Munter has. On a really decent mark, drawn in stall 20. Um, Hales from a yard that haven't really been in form, but after a third last time out, third of 17 at Cork, that was a really encouraging run. He's only going up one pound for that run as well, which is also very noticeable. Isn't very prolific, I must admit. Um, last time it won was back in July 2019 at Tipperary. But that was off a mark of 62. Obviously, it's lower than that mark now. Um, as produced... Relatively decent runs here at Navin. Just have a look through the form book there. And we have a look and we see that it's finished fourth of 16 here before. So certainly knows how to go well over this track and trip. Of a decent mark, top jockey on board. 13 to 2, Monza has each way better the day. And my nap of the day as well. Those are my thoughts. Those are my selections. Um, and yeah, I can't really, I can't really look elsewhere. I've gone through my play spot, and I'll go through it a last final time as well. we'll go through that play spot, play spot. Is. So grab your pen, grab your piece of paper, whatever you need, and it's Navin at play spot. First race, number five, Lopez Gold in the one fifteen. Second race, number one, Admiral of the Blue in the one forty five. Third race in the 2.20, we're going for two. We're going for number 10, Stan Hope, and number 16, Teddy Boy. Also, I wouldn't mind backing both of them in each way, singles. 2.55, that is the fourth race on the card. 
and we are going to go with number four, the red hot favourite, Malawi. In the fifth race, and this is probably one of the trickier races, in the 3.30, we're going to go number two, Belmont Avenue. And then we've got in the Royal County Handicap, the 4.05, we're going to go number six, Iowa. That's my play spot, but also my bet of the day, Monta has each way in the 5.15, all at Navin, all my selections there. As always, thank you very much for watching. Any likes, comments and support, very much welcome. Apologies for the voice, it's absolutely dying to death today. And no, I wasn't on the booze. But, fingers crossed, touch wood that we can bash the bookies today. And good luck if you follow.